How's it going everybody? It's Pony Fame and we are back with another FPO video and today we're going to be taking a look at the transfer radar and which players managers are bringing in and out for game week 13. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe channel if you're new or haven't done so already. It greatly helps out the channel as well as turn those notification bells on so that you can get the content as soon as it is readily available. Drop us a follow over on Twitter so that you can keep up to date with any and all FPO news from price changes to injury news and anything in between. And lastly, make sure to give us a follow over on Twitch so you can join us live for our preview and deadline streams. We'll be doing a deadline stream this weekend on Saturday, one hour before the FPL deadline. We usually leave a pinned comment down below to let you know when those exact times are. So without further ado, let's talk about our sponsor for this video with Manscaped. This video is brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped have just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0, alongside their Performance Package 4.0, which also includes the Weed Whacker Hair and Nose Trimmer for those pesky little hairs that are getting out of hand, the Crop Preserver for anti chafing to make sure that you are as relaxed at all times, the Crop Reviver for maximum conditioning and toning to make sure your jewels are as buff as possible, disposable shaving mats, as well as the Premier Travel Bag for your on the go grooming, and lastly, the Anti Chafing Boxers, which I can personally say are extremely comfortable and keep you cool under the highest amount of pressure. What I found the most impressive is that the Lawnmower 4.0 features ceramic cutting edge blades to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology so you can now have that added security when venturing into uncharted territories. The upgraded trimmer also includes a multifunction on and off switch that can engage a travel lock and also when you are venturing into those uncharted of territories it has the ability for a led a 400k led a very strong light that you can switch on and off so you can get that more precise shave so make sure to join over 4 million men who trust in manscape with this exclusive offer 20 percent off and free worldwide shipping using the code flame 20 at manscape.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscape.com using the code flame 20 unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with manscaped now trent alexander arnold is the second most brought in player for game week 13 with over 342,000 managers bringing in the english right back 7.8 million is his current price and he's been fabulous this season one goal six assists on the season 5.77 xgi so doing quite good on that one and he's had no big chances but he has scored which was one from the direct free kick that he scored a couple weeks ago uh versus west ham but he's probably going to get more goals as the season goes on and definitely going to rack up more assists his run of fixtures over the next four pretty straightforward i would think southampton at home a couple of way fixtures in the merseyside derby and at molyneux versus wolves and then aston villa at home should be four wins and four i would think for jurgen klopp's liverpool and I think Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to play a key role in the run-in as well, especially going into January when the African Cup of Nations mean that Sadio Mane, Naby Keita, and most importantly, Mo Salah have to go to that tournament. And Trent's going to have to step up uh, even more so than what he's already doing right now. Just under 35% owned as well, rightfully so. I think he's probably going to go up even higher than that before the Christmas period, I would think. 50% is probably more likely, I think, in the top 10K with him and a couple other defenders, which we might mention uh, on uh, this video. He's like 80, 90% in the top 10K, which is where I'm currently at right now. And I think he's so, so important, potentially even a captaincy shout uh, as well. The only thing is with that is you're thinking, well, if Trent has a good fixture, then so does Salah. So why wouldn't I just back Salah? Unless you definitely know that Liverpool aren't going to rack up a score, which seems very unlikely uh, at the moment. So Trent is doing fantastic. Would not be surprised if he hit 8 million as a, the defender this season. Might even start that price next season because I think a lot of the fullbacks and wingbacks were underpriced this season, although we didn't think they would be this good uh, as well with their output. And Trent's definitely the ringleader of that group. But Trent is only the second most brought in player. Who is the first for Gaming 13? 
And the most brought in FPL player for Gaming 13 so far is Reese James. 451,000 plus managers have brought him in. He's currently 6.1 million after starting the season at 5.5 million. He has been fantastic since his return from injury. Started off decently at the beginning of the season as well. Had a memorable game versus Arsenal where him and Lukaku basically took over. Four goals, four assists on the season with an XGI of 2.73. Very, very low. Definitely over exceeding that. Close to 30 percent uh he as well as Trent alexander arnold jao cancelo uh and uh, potentially even ben chilwell like a combination of three or four of those have around like a 80 to 90 percent ownership in the top 10k which is absolutely insane and rightfully so they have been doing absolutely crazy numbers uh reese james 17 big chances uh or 17 chances created two big chances so has been quite clinical in his finishing i think the goals have really boosted his kind of ownership up more so than not scored again in the champions league and his run of fixtures in the next four are quite good watford away leads away with west ham away and man united at home around those two fixtures i think they should be fine in those. Man United will still have Michael Carrick uh, as well in charge for that game because I don't think with the news of Ralph Ranić uh, coming in as the interim of the interim manager or whatever it may be, whatever United's calling it nowadays, it's a good footballing decision finally. But Reese James will be playing versus Man United at home, and I think Chelsea are the heavy favorites in that one, and he might be looking to get another clean sheet and maybe some attacking returns in that one. So it's understandable why Reese James is coming into a lot of FPL teams as well before his price really gets out of hand, and he might be at the 6.57 million potentially by the end of the season. Now, with those two players, with Trent and James being the most brought in players, there is a Chelsea player that is the most sold this week. And it's James's partner on the other side. And that partner is Ben Chilwell. Close to 282,000 FPL managers have decided Ben Chilwell has got to go. Now, I know a few managers I saw on Twitter brought in Ben Chilwell before the Champions League game, but it doesn't look good for the Englishman. We spoke about him on the buy, hold, and sell feature. He does have the same fixtures as Reese James, but it seems likely that he's going to be out for quite a while and may not necessarily play any more games in this year's basic fixtures, basically all the way up until end of May, even some summer. Who knows how long it's going to be? They don't have the official you know, reports of it yet, but it's looking like it's some type of knee injury, specifically ACL. You know, there's been some, you know, doctors on Twitter and stuff that that follow football that have basically said it, it, it doesn't look good, but it can vary. So hopefully for him, it's on the lighter side and it's, a, you know, only a, only a couple months, uh, you know, three, four months rather than, you know, the eight, nine, 10, 12 months even that it could potentially be. And his form was very good. Three goals and an assist on the season as well, creating chances, really flying up and down that left hand wing back roll getting into the box very very often i think that with chilwell out you probably expect marcus alonso to come straight back in so it'd probably be an easy transfer to swap there i would still wait for the press conference to see if there's any update on that and how bad it could potentially be he did look like he was in quite a lot of pain he did walk under his own power although very very gingerly and it seemed quite innocuous at the time like it didn't seem like it was anything severe based on the challenge that was involved but those are typically the ones that do the most damage unfortunately so hopefully Ben Chilwell gets better soon because I know that the England national team is going to want him as well and he was doing very well for our FPL team so hopefully Marcus Alonso whoever takes his place uh, can do just as well or potentially even better I'm certainly looking at Alonso as a potential replacement now, with Chilwell being the first most sold player for Gaming 13, there's a certain striker that a lot of managers still own, close to 47% of them, and he's been not doing too well over the past few weeks, and he's been the second most transferred out player for Gaming 13. And that second most transferred out player is Mikel Antonio. Close to 47% ownership is the forward from West Ham. 2125 thousand managers have sold him this game week 8.2 million so still some sell value on him for sure if you got him at 7.5 million at the beginning of the season definitely a bargain early on but has slowly dipped off and over the last four game weeks just the one goal to show for his efforts and you can see that by his stats 
one big chance over the last four game weeks is not great after having nine on the season only five chances created one big chance out of those chances uh created was a big chance uh and shots in the box just five uh i think four of which were off target if my memory serves me correctly and he does have a tough run of fixtures coming up man city away it's never going to be easy brighton at home brighton are typically a good solid defensive team and then chelsea at home chelsea i mean they're the best team in, in in europe potentially at the moment so very very tough although antonio's fixtures if you can see that nice little fdr rating of two fixture versus burnley that is a long spell of very good fixtures where a lot of managers will look to bring him back in i think personally you can sell him for three game weeks maybe get in the likes of Raul jimenez uh maybe an ivan tony potentially if you wanted to go that route upgrade all the way to a cane even could be an option I think there's reasons for why a lot of managers have gotten rid of Antonio uh, this game week, especially with Man City coming up. Some managers just benching him. They'll play him versus Brighton, see what they can get. Bench him versus Chelsea and then keep him for Burnley. And I think that's perfectly a viable strategy. Me personally, not owning him. Like I said, if he comes away in these next three fixtures with no more returns as well, that would be great. It helps my rank tremendously. I've been quite fortunate on that. And Antonio has been one of those things. But I would also caveat that I would look to see if I can get Antonio and potentially Potentially Jared Bowen as well for those run of fixtures. So if you are one of the managers that have gotten rid of Antonio, I think it's perfectly viable. I think that also benching him in game weeks 13 and 15 and then playing him in game week 14, I think is perfectly fine as well because I think he's a fantastic player and can do damage because he's just a different type of player than most teams see on a week to week basis. And the numbers show it. If they can get back to that form where they were playing well uh, versus teams, which aren't necessarily uh you know adaptable at dealing with you know the type of just brute strength and power that antonio brings up front just the sheer running power uh you know up front in the channels in the box you know just aerial battles uh, on the floor battles just he just brings it all uh, and it's very very good and stepped up his game he also talked about his eating habits as well have changed which is why he's been so fit this season and if he can maintain that then definitely be looking for him in game week 16 but i understand why a lot of managers have gotten rid of him ahead of this top run of three fixtures but let me know think down in the comments below who are you going to be taking out this game week and which transfer you're going to be bringing in for game week 13 so if you haven't heard about Fantasy Football Scout, they have a fantastic members area during the regular season. It's £25 for the membership, and that lasts the entire year. And during the off-season, they give a 20% discount. But if you have missed that discount, fear not. You can still get the membership for £25, and it's fantastic. You can see the membership area just behind me. You have a bunch of different stats that you can use, powered by OptiStats, and create your own custom tables. You have the Rate My Team tool. You have the Season and ticker player comparison tools a whole array of things that you can use to help elevate your fpl game so use the link down in the description below so that you can get access to these exclusive exclusive tools to help elevate your fpl game sign up now and that is going to do it for the game week 13 edition of the transfer radar if you haven't done so already make sure to hit that like button subscribe channel if you're new or haven't done so already it greatly helps out the channel as well as turn those notification bells on so that you can get the content as soon as it is readily available drop us a follow over on twitter so that you can keep up to date with any and all fpl news from price changes to injury news and anything in between as well as give us a follow over on twitch so you can see when we go live for our preview and deadline streams we usually leave a pinned comment down below to let you know when those are and lastly make sure to use the links down in the description below so that you can get 20 percent off and free shipping with the code flame 20 for your next manscaped order as well as to check out the fantasy football scout membership area it's going to help elevate your fpl game thank you all for watching and until the next one take care